Bienvenue, welcome, le prochain, welcome, le prochain, le prochain, aloha, bye. The Deep Sea Odyssey is a multimedia dark ride found at Chinlong Ocean Kingdom in Zhuhai, China. This dark ride was one of the park's marquee attractions, situated below the park's iconic whale shark statue and in the Guinness World Record setting aquarium. Chimelong Ocean Kingdom is the newest theme park from the Chimelong Group. When designing the park, Chimelong wanted a variety of attraction experiences that were both exciting and highlighted the natural beauty of the park's wide variety of sea life. No other ride in the park embodied that goal like Deep Sea Odyssey. Under this unique, massive icon of a whale shark is the Deep Sea Odyssey attraction. It is a unique dark ride that engages with several different content pieces that we've created. For this attraction, Chime Long wanted a unique storyline told through blended media, physical scenic, live aquariums, and an endless dark ride system. Chime Long relied on Falcon's Treehouse to bring these elements together on site, to create the media for the dark ride and to have it ready for opening day. All of the media scenes and action needed to seamlessly loop to be synced to the continuous vehicle dispatch. Telling the story of the attraction to the steady stream of guests passing by on the endless ride system offered unique challenges to the story creation and media production. With guests always passing in and out of each scene, the storyline had to be told in looping segments. Guests had to be able to enter a scene at any point and experience each segment before leaving to ensure they were always in tune with their adventure. The adventure in Deep Sea Odyssey was narrated by Pow Pow, a cute character that was part fish, part mechanical submarine. Luckily for guests, he was created to communicate with humans and guides their ride vehicles on their adventures, communicating with them throughout the entire journey. They had to come up with a unique character that had a lot of expression and was fun and appealed to the, the younger audience. The challenge in creating Pow Pow was to develop a character that would resonate with guests of all ages. Many designs and color schemes were investigated before the final version of Pow Pow was created. All of the characters within the Dark Ride were unique cartoon character designs that had to be created by the pre-production team. We had to look at all sorts of different fish life and how it would interact with the guest experience and it had to have that right look. The characters had to work alongside Pow Pow, blend into the stylized scenic environments and not feel out of place in an attraction where guests passed through a world record holding aquarium filled with live sea life. Guest sightline analysis was used to have the characters' eyes focus on and track the passing guests. Interspersed with the scenic and aquarium scenes, over 14 minutes of content was created for the attraction, much of it narrated by Pow Pow in Chinese. To do this, the Falcon's Treehouse media production team had to animate rich emotions into Pow Pow's character, despite the language barrier. A significant amount of Chinese lip sync had to be done so that Pow Pow could feel like a real character. So we had to animate uh, all of his Chinese dialogue so that it matched with his emotions. We really wanted to jump in and swim with Pow Pow. The guest's first introduction to Pow Pow has the character projected on a scenic bubble. This had to be specifically rendered to create a unique floating character effect without traditional edges of frame. It was just one of many unique media elements that were blended into the rich scenic backgrounds found within the attraction. Other unique elements included a Pepper's Ghost projection technique, which was used for the final media scene where Pow Pow is electrified by a jellyfish. There is also a custom high-resolution dome in the volcano scene where virtual lava erupts from all directions. Scenes were split up over several monitors and projectors, separated by scenic elements, that all still had to allow the story to flow. Some scenes were even treated in UV paint, while still requiring seamless media integration. 
However, the dark ride offered further challenges beyond the media scope, including the very large areas of interaction with the aquarium. We have an aquarium, which is the currently the biggest in the world right now. When we build an aquarium, we don't just want to be just like a exhibit. We would also like to integrate a dark ride that we can actually go underneath the sea, inside the ocean, you know, swimming with the fish together. From a technical point of view, the ride is woven through three stories of substructure around the aquarium, but also you're going from a dark ride environment, show lighting and UV paint, and then you turn a corner and you're into what essentially is pool lighting. The dark ride's integration into the aquarium facility offered many challenges, including areas where the facility offered very little room for adjustment, creative or otherwise. In these cases, show elements and scenes were adjusted to ensure the creative integrity of the ride was never compromised. The Deep Sea Odyssey Dark Ride opened with Chimlong Ocean Kingdom on Chinese New Year of 2014 and was an immediate success for the park. Throughout 2014, as Chimlong Ocean Kingdom has been marketed to the world, including in top industry publications such as Fun World and Park World Magazine, the ride is always marketed as a premier attraction.